Good morning again. It's part three in the aerodynamic testing. Today I will drive my Lupo 3L, which I yesterday already drive after snowfall. Last night it rained about only three, three to four centimeters of snow, and this snow is a little bit thicker than yesterday. So let's see how it acts during driving. Again make some holes to your glasses so you can see where you are going and start driving. Because the snow is a little bit thicker today, you might need some higher speeds during driving. But let's see. Already a little bit of snow is flying and we are going 30. So looks good. Yesterday I also tried to put some snow on top of the car with the shovel and it did not work that well because it backed in places and it didn't give so smooth results. The, sm the snow starts to fly again. Now we are doing 85. is to show where you have problem areas in your car. Uh, the shapes which you have in your car might have attached flow even there is snow left but the snow basically shows on my estimation what is the perfect shape for that that part or piece meaning that there is still room for improvement if there is snow in some places. yet clean the road so need to be careful in this corner and now I put it to power mode and we come to the straight where I try to get the 110 speed on my car use forward gear because the wind resists the acceleration pretty fast. Now we are doing 100. And that was 110. And the most of the snow game off. As you can see I need to make corrections all the time and again the water drops start to fly 
near the windscreen. Let's turn back and stop after this long straight and see the results this time. I I am not sure that this will be not as good because the snow is much heavier. And now we are in power mode in my Lupo. I have about 75 horsepower at the moment, 75-80, and there is difficulties to get traction, and the speed up, it's also a little bit uphill. Again, we can see clearly these water drops going, and you can also make some kind of studies of them. We are doing 110 and I think there is no snow flying off anymore from the car so we can stop and analyze the results. Basically, if my car would have been perfectly safe, there would have been no no snow left in my car's surfaces. Uh, a friend of mine did ha does have a Lupo 3L and a few Audi A2 3Ls, and the Audi A2 is much more aerodynamic. And when he did the same test, the only place where he had some snow left was on the, on top of the rear spoiler in the back and in only in the center section of the of that spoiler meaning that the basic shape was pretty much correct here you can see where they have started to clean the road and that's clean road after that ABSs are crunching all the time when you when you are braking in these kind of conditions, even you have a good winter tires. So here's the results of today's testing. There is a, a big snow bank on top of the windscreen wipers. I think I would have needed to drive even faster because the snow came off on only most of the snow came off at 110 and in the roof in some places it didn't even came off fully and you can see this this kind of gro grooves here which I got also yesterday when I applied the snow with the snow that means there is too too thick boundary layers and these are very firmly attached to them so this is a perfect snow if you want to have a snowball fight again same places little bit longer this rear boat, boat tail here but nothing nothing spectacular this time This was it. Keep tuning your loopers.